you know, in children, you know, fortunately, most patients do tolerate our induction therapy pretty well. That isn't necessarily the case uh, for all subsets. Certainly older adults don't tolerate uh, an intensified induction chemotherapy particularly well. Um, our Down syndrome patients, again, can run into a lot of trouble with uh, toxicities, including infection and, and uh, ultimately death and induction period. So uh, perhaps there can be some way in which we give like a steroid uh, prophase prior to uh, a sort of uh, less intense induction augmented by post-induction blended to a med. Um, but I think these things still are, are, are certainly uh, future directions for, for the use of blended to a um, Again, there is a relapse trial that's uh, we know in the relapse setting, especially high-risk relapse patients, chemotherapy isn't effective um, at getting patients back into an MRD-negative remission. So why not just bypass that chemotherapy and your more effective agent, blenituumab, uh, since T-cells might not be uh, adequate uh, you know, to uh, have the cytotoxic effects uh, that in that particular setting. So, so perhaps uh, a re-induction regimen combining uh, blenitumab with nivolumab as, as being studied by the Children's Oncology Group right now might be one way to optimize how we're getting at least relapse patients back in uh, a good remission.